Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Tanya, episode 15. So in the last episode, we got our satchel and we got our alchemy catalyst to get leather and probably other things later on. Um, I was going to expand this room, but I think instead I'd like to work on an automated flower farm for Britannia. I don't want to have to make these petals anymore. And uh, so let's get a flower farm. So I'm going to go ahead and expand this platform out here. And when that's done, we will work on making some flowers. All right, I built out the platform. Let's put some grass on there now. So let's go get a grass seed. All right, let's see. Okay. There we go. Ex nihilo grass seeds. And we can use our water can to spread the grass. There we go. This tiny progression's watering can actually is really nice. I mean, it takes almost no time at all to, to do this. I don't have to go free fill water or anything. It's almost... It's a lot like the original watering can Extra Utilities was before they nerfed it. Actually, even a little bit better because you've got that little shift-click thing to keep it going all the time. All right, there we go. There's a platform. So, how are we going to get automated flowers? Well, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need a jaded amaranthus. We're going to need a drum of the wild. If I can type. We're going to need a mana spreader. A pulse mana spreader. And maybe a regular mana spreader. And maybe a lens. A mana lens of a messenger lens. That's what I want, I think. There it is. Okay. And we're going to need another hopper hawk. And some chests. Okay. I think that is basically everything that we need, though. So, let's see how that goes. Let's start by getting the Jade Amaranthus. We're going to need a Rune of Spring. Okay, that's the thing we'll have to get. So, let's see. The Rune of Spring is something we'll need. That requires a Rune of Fire and a Rune of Water. We should have a Rune of Water. I don't think we've got a Rune of Fire, though. Yeah, no Rune of Fire. So, requires Nether Wart, Gunpowder, Nether Brick, Mana Steel, Mana Powder. Alright, that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, we can get Nether Wart by Sifting Soul Sand. I forget to space those things. Okay. Yeah, Sifting Soul Sand. So let's get nine pieces of soul sand, see if we can get enough nether wart for what we need. The nice thing is we've got that auto witch water thing now, so we don't have to do anything special with that. I think I use all the sand in making... I think I use all the sand making glass, so we'll have to get some more sand. Let's see here, let's put you up real quick too. All right, do I have a hammer? Yeah, I've got some hammers. I think this will be enough. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's one of those, huh? Should be enough for now. Uh, no, it won't be, actually. Um, need at least one more. When we get some more power, we'll get Direwolf's tool. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. There we go. Bunch of compressed gravel. All 
All right, and turn that into sand. All right, there we go. Lots of sand. So we'll turn that into compressed sand. And then I just need nine of that not to be compressed sand. Oh, I had some compressed sand. Huh. Oh, well, whatever. It takes, I think, a full minute to transform with all this stuff around here. So we'll have to wait and get one more. But we can get some mushrooms while we're waiting too. There we go. Okay, there we go. Nine pieces of soul sand. Gives us one piece of compressed soul sand. And hopefully, that's all we need. Only got one. That's all we need, though. So that'll work. Okay. Need another brick, too, though. So we need... Um, let's get a second stone barrel for downstairs. Um... Yeah, this one can be for making nether, 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 uh, nether wreck. One piece of redstone. Yeah, because that thing's covered up by the lava. It will make obsidian if I do that like that. So let's put you over there. There we go. Nether wreck. We'll convert into nether brick. And that's everything we need for the rune of fire. Get me a mana ingot and a piece of gunpowder. Alright. So it should be gunpowder over here. Yep, there we go. Okay, so powder, ingot, nether brick, nether wart. What's it missing? Oh, it wants a gunpowder too. That's fine, we have that. All right, there we go, we'll get Rune of Fire. Living Rock 2, need my wand. I'm in a shovel, so we'll have those from now on. Looks like it's ready, so there we go. Rune of Fire, excellent. Okay, so now we're gonna need a Rune of Spring. Requires three of any sapling and some wheat. Oh, we don't have any wheat. Hmm. Let's see here. I guess we will go plant some wheat real quick and get some bone meal to grow it. I should make a platform for um, a farm. We'll do that next time. All right. Here is a seed. I'm going to need some water. Let's see here. I'm just going to go over here to this place, right? Uh, I'm going to need a hoe as well. Let's see here. Let's go get a stone hoe. All right. So, we need some water. Uh, there's my rod of the seas. Alright. Till the gound. Get the seeds. Get some bone meal. Okay. That's 
five. Yeah, good enough for now, I think. Okay. There we are, some wheat. Now we need some saplings. Oops, right out. All right, let's get three saplings. There we go. Oh, we already have three saplings. Okay, that should be good. Saplings, piece of wheat, rune of fire, rune of water. This won't consume these runes, so. All right. That's for our Rune of Spring. Another Living Rock piece. Alright. Everything else is straightforward, so that should be the last thing we need for this. Oops. Alright, there we go. Yep, so you get our runes back. Okay, we need a redstone root, so you need a piece of redstone. Let's see here. I've got a bit of redstone now. Let's uh, make eight of these things to keep them over here. Okay, there we go. Alright, so, redstone root, rune of spring bunch of different colored flowers purple lime green all right purple lime green purple green lime uh, let's see get my shears okay Alright, I think that should be everything. Purple, lime, green, rune of spring, redstone root, makes a jaded amaranthus. Alright, perfect. Refill that, and we're good to go. So, there's part one, making the actual jaded amaranthus flower. I want that to go in the center. One, two, three, four, five. Now, it won't reach that mana pool over there. It's okay though, I didn't want it to. I don't want it to grow that many flowers. It doesn't need that much mana, I think, and it grows like tons of stuff. So, I don't want that to happen. So, let's get a hopper hawk. So, we're done with this, 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 and this. So, we need Redstone Root and a Rune of Air. We've got another one of those, right? Yep, there we go. Rune of Air, Redstone Root, and both kinds of gray. One, two, three, four. All right. Okay, one kind of gray, other kind of gray, redstone root, air, water, yeah. Okay, redstone, all right, there we go, there's the hopper hawk. So now we can generate flowers and pick up stuff. So hopefully uh, the hopper hawk will work in this area. It should. Let's go ahead and make a mana lens too, or um, a monocle. That will tell us the range of the flowers. We're gonna need a mana ingot, piece of mana glass, and some glass nuggets. That's not too bad. So, glass and an iron ingot. Piece of glass, iron ingot. All right. 
Do we have any gold nuggets? Yes, we do. There we go. Man of Steel, Monocle. Just so classy too, right? All right, whatever. So let's take a look at the range of the flowers. You can see when I look at the flower, tells me the range. If I use my wand of the forest and hit shift right click to bind, hmm, oh, that should have worked for other things. I didn't work for that. Works for this. Even without, man, he's got a huge range, so that's good. Yeah. So if I shift right click him, he should hold on to that. I can see it when I walk away. So, all right. So, oh, there it is. Okay. I didn't do something right for the other ones. Well, whatever. Okay, so yeah, the range on those is fine. Um, we're gonna have to make a platform underneath to make another, um, I wanna make another one of those setups for the flowers like those over there. Which are dead by the way, but we'll get more later. Uh, let's see here. All right, so let's go ahead and make some more flowers. Okay, there are some hydrangeas. So the next step would be to get a platform down there and a mana pool for this. Let's see here, mana pool. Let's get one of those guys too. And I'm thinking we'll just put this guy right over here. And then let's go ahead and bind those guys. There we go. So that's bound now. So all we have to do now is get down there and break things and make a little platform. Okay. So that will be my next job to go down there and make a platform so that we can have the hydrangeas down there. And then we'll see how well this ends up working. I think it'll work pretty well. I haven't tested with hydrangeas, but I know this doesn't need very much mana at all to generate flowers. So yeah, should be pretty good. So let me go do that and I'll be back once I have the platform. Okay, I've got the platform made now, so let's work on getting a mana spreader to put stuff in the mana pool. So let's see here. Spreader, I've got it already set up there. Need a piece of gold. Should keep a little bit of gold over here. I think I'll make that sash from Matania too. All right, there we go, mana spreader. We need two of these guys, actually, because one of them's gonna be a pulse mana spreader. But didn't bring any redstone either, so we'll get that real quick. Okay. We need, f no, we need any dirt at all. In fact, I used all my dirt on making this platform, so I had to make the rest with the Rod of the Lands. So, it's a good thing I made that, because it's very needed. Okay, so here's where things are going to be. So here is the center of what's going to be the Hydrangea Pool. 
So that means two, three, two, three, two, three, and two, three. Okay, there we go. So spreader goes there. Let's bind that guy to the pool. Let's break this guy. And now we need one, two, three, and there we go. Infinite water. So, need that rod of the lands too. So, I'm gonna break this guy. Place dirt. There we go. Now, looks like we're getting a little bit of problems with lighting. If I put it there, are we okay? Yeah, that looks good. So, okay, I think that's fine now. So let's put the hydrangeas in here. Two, three, and four. Aha, I hear flowers. There we go, a pink flower. Yep. Okay. This is uh, rather slow. That's okay though, it's automated. And it doesn't need to be fast. It just needs to be a little bit of automated flower growth. So, there we go. That takes care of that, at least for now. We'll get better man generation later. We could use um, thermal lilies and uh, generate with lava. That's an idea too. So, I'll look into that later. But for now, this will work. So, let's work on the next part, which is the Drum of the Wild. So, to get a Drum of the Wild, we need a Horn of the Wild and some leather. Need living wood and some pasture seed. That's not a problem. Uh, pasture seeds are going to be grass in a pool. Let's go get one of those. Okay. All right, there's my Horn of the Wild. Drum of the Wild's gonna need a couple pieces of leather. So let's go transmit a little bit of leather. All right, there we go. And that should give us the Drum of the Wild. Excellent. So, I now need, oh, we also need a Hovering Hourglass. All right, we need a chest right there for the uh, Hopper Hawk too. Let's get an iron chest for him. So let's get a chest and make it an iron chest. Okay, so we also need the hovering hourglass. What does that require? There's four pieces of glass and one of those guys. No, it needs two pieces of glass, two pieces of mana glass, two pieces, four pieces of gold. That's what I meant. Okay. Let's go get the mana glass. Let's see if we can make that hovering hourglass. We didn't bring any redstone. We'll need at least one piece of redstone. Keep a little bit of redstone over here too, because we need that all the time as well. There we go. Hovering hourglass. And need a mana lens. Oops, messed that up. Okay, just need a regular lens with some paper. 
I don't know if I can make enough paper for that yet. Might have to hold off on that. We'll see. So we're going to need four of these. And we're going to need a piece of glass. There we go. There's a mana lens. Paper. How can I get paper? Sure cane or sawdust and wood will give me two pieces of paper. We might have those wood shippings. Yeah, I might be able to do that. Hmm. Should have kept one infinite water source nearby to do this. Let's take a nap real quick. Alright. So let's go down and now let's just let's just make it over here somewhere. We'll um we'll just do it like this for a minute. So I need the rod of the water. Okay, so I need paper there we go that will give me a messenger lens and I think that's everything so yeah let's take the iron chest and we'll put that guy here and then we need, oh, wrong place. That can't go there. Break that guy. Break that guy. And put the iron chest here. Drum of the Wild's gonna go here. No, I guess it's not. I guess I'm going to go one more over. All right, I need an axe. Okay. There we go. Drum of the Wild. Get you back. And put that there. And then I want to put the Pulse Mana Spreader here. And we're going to bind it to the drum. I'm going to put the Messenger Lens on there. Now we need to put it on the hovering hourglass, and we need some sand. So, let's see here. I think maybe half a stack of sand. That'll give us 32 seconds for the delay. Do we have any sand? We've got to have some sand, right? Okay. For testing, we'll do a five second delay. Take my ring off real quick too. Okay, so the hourglass, five seconds. That gets taken care of. Hopperhawk picks up. Yep. Okay, that works. Okay, so we're going to put it at 32 seconds, and we'll see how well that goes. Oh, with one of force, you can see what it's doing. I see how much time's in there. To be honest, if it also told you how much was left, but um, it's good enough. Yeah, and all we have to do now, if we need flowers, let's go over here. Get some flowers. And, um, I'm not sure how many this is going to make, but, uh, I think it should do just fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, hour later, this system will all collapse, 
And that actually should be fine because we don't need to have like like thousands of flowers. We just need to make sure we've got some whenever we need them. And that's what the system does. So there we are, automated flowers with Batania. I might want to uh, soften that noise some though. So we'll see. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And if you didn't, uh, go watch something else, because uh, you don't have to watch me. It's not a requirement. So, uh, see you next time.